Uh, well, Tim is uh, going to have a wonderful trip. You know, when they uh, go through the process of opening the hatches between the uh, Soyuz and the International Space Station, he will he'll squeeze through the small opening, uh, the gap created uh, through those hatches, uh, and be welcomed by the three other crewmates who've already been up there for quite some time. Uh, he'll be welcomed into the gigantic complex relative to the Soyuz, uh, which is the International Space Station. So it'll be a a lot of uh, great places to explore and play, uh, in none of which uh, he has seen uh, previously. He said before he left that the thing he was most looking forward to experiencing was looking back at Earth from the ISS. He said other astronauts had tried to describe it but couldn't quite get it across. Will you try for us now? You know, when you're when you're in orbit, you're you're orbiting the Earth at 17,000 miles an hour. That means you go around the Earth every 90 minutes. It means you see a sunrise or a sunset about every 45 minutes. It means you cross whole continents in maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And that whole time, you're only about 250 miles up, which is only 10 or 20 times higher than a commercial airliner. And so you still have a very intimate view of the Earth. And so as you look out the window, you feel like you understand the large scale systems of the Earth and how they work in a very intimate way, unlike you have seen in movies or read in textbooks uh, ever before. And so you're, it, it's like a, a fire hose of information about the truth of the Earth sort of pouring into your mind. And so everything from weather to tectonic plate movements uh, to erosion by water and wind, uh, pollution, uh, the general impact of humanity, building roads and dams and farms, clear cutting of the forests, all these things are sort of laid out uh, before you in incredible uh, detail. When you came back down to Earth, with a bump, no doubt, what in you had changed? Apart from physically, what, had you become more humble about the human race? Oh, unquestionably. You know, I, I would have uh, already described myself, or would like to have described myself, as an environmentalist, someone who cared about uh, uh, global politics, uh, you know, environmental causes in general, uh, you know, a wide variety of these subjects, even before I went. But, you know, once you see the Earth from space, especially over an extended period of time, it's it's not possible to be, uh, to avoid being uh, deeply affected by that experience and really feel like uh, uh, you, you understand and have a, a deeper connection uh, with this uh, small island in space that we all call home. So I'm sure Tim will 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 feel the same way. Richard, fantastic talking to you. Many thanks indeed. My pleasure. Thank you.